letter she wrote to the IRA Army Council in the year 2000 proves that the paramilitaries had undertaken an internal investigation of her rape allegations. The Belfast woman has alleged that she was raped by a senior member of the IRA in 1997 and was later interrogated by the organisation. Well, for more on all of this, we're joined by our Northern Editor, Tommy Gorman. A bit of context, uh, Tommy, why this statement now from Maria Cahill? Well, Peter Madden is a Belfast solicitor representing four people who are caught up in some of the allegations made by Maria Cahill. Yesterday, Mr Madden issued a statement criticising the Taoiseach and saying that he had advised his clients not to meet with Enda Kenny. And it was as a result of that statement that Morning Ireland sought an interview with Mr Madden this morning. In the course of that interview on the radio, he suggested that Maria Cahill had at one stage written a letter to the IRA's Army Council, uh, criticising them for uh, the uh, investigation it was carrying out and in which she was involved. So a number of hours passed after that interview and Maria Cahill herself then issued a statement. She said she herself had given a copy of that letter to the PSNI in 2010 after she had complained about what had happened to her, allegations that she had made. She also pointed out in the course of the statement today that one of the main reasons uh, for writing that letter was because of her concern that her alleged perpetrator was still at large and had access to other children. And we know that all of this is legally sensitive ground and we also know that there are a number of investigations on the go. But what do we know about what's likely to happen next, Tommy? Well, you're quite right that it's such sensitive legal territory, almost unprecedented, say, in my work in journalism. I've not been in a situation like this before. Take, for instance, this letter. It was prosecution material for a trial or trials that did not take place and nobody has been convicted as a result of those processes. But we do know at this stage that two important developments are due to take place. First of all, there is that investigation by the police ombudsman in Northern Ireland on foot of complaints made by Maria Cahill. Secondly, announced this week by the Public Prosecution Service in Northern Ireland, we have a review of the prosecutorial systems in place in related to three interlinked cases. And we have an indication there will be findings from that review by March of next year. Also worth saying, Sharon, this is now part of the political debate, particularly down south, where the Republican movement is a growing force. So entirely controversial, sensitive material, new territory in many respects. But I think when we see those two reports that will emerge from the Ombudsman and from the Public Prosecution Service, we will have more clarity.